Hello everyone, hi, uh, welcome. It's a new week here at TTC Tours. New week, new start, another fresh challenge. Uh, we're re recording on a Monday this afternoon. Uh, so a rare day for me, I usually record on Sundays. But uh, so that means uh, we get to take a look at last week's leaderboards, see where we stand. You take a look at this week's leaderboards to see what we're kind of up against so far out of people who have already submitted first round scores. And we get to look at our golf rankings to see whereabouts we stand in the grander scheme of things. So first things first, looking at last week's scores, we just take a look here. Finished 33rd, nice uh, princely sum of 5029 earned. Finished 11 under par, 32 under, 1, congratulations Jared Greenfield. It's a big win for him as he advances up the rankings. A couple of big promotion points earned there. This week uh, we are playing Storm and Norman's Desert Challenge at Cherry Brook, Cherry Brook Golf Club. Uh, so far the opening scores here are 9 under. To top the leaderboards, a great score there for Mike Hubley, minus 7, coming off the back of 4 demotion marks. So that ought to be very big for him. Sure he's delighted with that so far. A couple of other people with uh, big demotion marks about to be able to score it off if they can just stay consistent and stay the course. Very, very competitive round of golf so far. Uh, 47 people have shot under par so far this round, so we're gonna have our work cut out for us. See, there's a lot of uh, people down here at the bottom here. So, yeah, 40, 40, that's like 47 out of 78 are below par, so we do have to be careful about that. Take a look at their golf rankings. We are on 2370, up from 2391. I just have a filter by Irish people, so I can see our mission, which is to not be able to see the uh, <laughs> the page <laughs> flipping uh, the prompts at the bottom of the screen, while our name is on the screen. So we just have to jump David O'Keefe over here, who is in CCK, played 32 rounds, or played 32 tournaments. A lot of people above us get a bit further away, so there's a big gulf between between their 2209 and 2077, and it's just going to get bigger. A lot of big names up the top here, a lot of Irish contingent represented in like Platinum Elite and Kinetic tier. And also a shout out to like one of my other favourite uh, favorite, uh, PGA creators on YouTube here, Tur Tur <coughs> Turlock Healy. You may know him as the Apex Hound. He's finally joined T TGC. He's up in CCB after only four rounds. Congratulations to him. He's doing really, really well for himself, as always. Anyway, enough about other uh, golfing YouTubers. Uh, let's play our own rounds. <laughs> let's make sure that uh, we have disabled Chrome. Yeah, we're not going to worry about the end game uh, scoreboards there because they take into effect like everyone, as well as people who are just like doing pra doing practice rounds, uh, who belong up in platinum and kinetic and elite and so on. So yeah, we're going to get things started here. Take a look here. Low wind speed from the east. Firm to very firm fairways and greens. Moderate green speeds. Not played this course, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how we get on. Here's up a nice sip of coffee, and then um, get right down to business. Thirty feet drop. This this could be a long one here, folks. Oh my, that is an awful, awful swing plane to start. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> I really don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> not, not very often we open rounds on a par 5, though. That's, uh... Interesting. 
and try and try and curve it around this tree as much as we can here. I think it did clip a branch on the way through. It's okay, we scrambled back to the fairway, still managed to plink it forward like 192 yards, which is really, really good. We've got flopping distance on the hole here. For Eagle. Looks to be going a bit further than I would have liked. Admittedly, it's going to be 19 feet to the hole for Birdie. I think I've missed that. Under aimed it rather than underpowered. Which, that's okay. It's a two tap, and you know I I still am not very happy about you know uh, just getting par on a par five. It's still something that really really grinds my gears as much as these as headphone cords. <laughs> Really need to do something about that. Oh, look, it's the first round. It's the first hole. It's the first round. What is with my drives today? They're just like all over the place. That's the second one now that's just gone like straight diagonal. Must be so I. You know they say a bad carpenter blames the tools, and I'm not. I'm not going to like instantly blame the controller and say, "Oh, it's the controller's fault." Like I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna club up here, the six iron, to try and dig our way out of here. That should get close to the green. It's on the fringe. Which means we get to chip up past this uh, past this tricky little slope sector here. Oh that's a good roll up. Oh that just got very, very close. That's a two foot tapping. I scramble back for par again. It's okay. It's okay. Sure, we've already established that you know we have to we have to press on here. Because of uh, because of the rest of the field doing so well. Oh my goodness, that's so slow. Oh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Like, actually horribly bad. Oh, that almost bounced in. Right, 11 feet, relatively straight for par. Okay, scrambled back. Scrambled back. We just need to, we just need to find our driving rhythm here. Very fast. That's a slow. fast as well. It's very slow. It's very slow also. I appreciate the golf claps from the audience here, but it's really not helping. A little bit of red fast. Should still leave us on the fairway. I don't utilize those practice swings as much as I probably should. Why is it? Why? Why was the recommended shot giving me the sandwich to try and to try and finish below the hole? I do have like a lot of difference here between the pitching edge and wedge and nine iron. I really need to alleviate, but we're going to try and pitch it up here with the six with the six iron here. Let's 
a little bit fast, like 102 percent power. It's going to overshoot the hole a little bit, and it's going into the fringe. I had a feeling that would happen. I don't like these partial chip shots, but that one landed. Let's go. Let's go. That's our first birdie of the day. That's a great hole in. I mean, sure, it wasn't from too far away, but like I'm usually not good with partial hitting partial shots. So that just felt satisfying to drop in. I know it was only eight yards, but that felt good. That felt good. We're moving the needle. We're off of even, and we're under par. All we need to do now is stay there. Another par five, huh? Slightly fast for 103% power, right up the gut here. 288 to the bounce. 307 yards, good start. A good, good start. And we are dropping altitude here. We're going to drop of 5 feet and we have a slight wind at our sails. It is a little bit fast though. That actually might be good because it's going to trail away from the bunkers. It does just bounce and roll away from the green though, which is unfortunate. I'm going to try and splash this up with the sandwich to try and see if we can get ourselves close here. That was close, but that's going to leave us in a good position for a birdie here. We like birdies on par fives. Two under. Through five. Could be a little, t could be a little smoke with the landing here behind this tree. Gonna end up fasting it anyway, and we're gonna. Oh god, we're gonna land behind this other tree, aren't we? Oh, that's. Uh, actually, we're like we're like immediately under it. So you know what? This actually might not. This actually might not be so bad. This could be makeable here. This could be makeable. If I'd have clubbed up again, that would have been makeable. Hey, uh, didn't really, I uh, didn't really account for the lie penalty that much. I just gotta try and splash this up as best as we can. Ooh. There's a little bit of a little bit of a rough and tumble landing there. Do you have a little bit of roll here just immediately at our feet here? A little bit spooky. Drops down. Just about. Nearly missed that. But managed to save power after two bad shots. So, uh, you know. It's alright, it could be any lot worse. Could have been a lot lot better though. That one's a little fast. We'll just miss those bunkers though and roll into the center of the fairway for 290 yards. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now a little bit of extra power will make up for the wind being in our face a little bit here. Slow definitely does not help. I'm going to land on the far side of the green if we make it at all here. That's going to leave us with a really long putt. Or actually we're just going to roll the whole way off, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to roll the whole way off to the fairway. Not great. I 
I don't often chip with the 9 iron or the 8 iron because there's an awful lot of roll uh, afterwards, but uh, we are 33 yards away. So let's just let's just send it on here and see what happens. Okay, that's perhaps like one of the like the worst shot selections we've ever had here on the show. But uh, you know what? You got to make mistakes in order to learn from them. Believe I hit that too hard. I didn't think I hit that too powerful, but I did blaze a little bit wide. Drop it in for bogey. And, well, I mean, we're still under par, but we're not doing as well as we could possibly have liked. Okay, we have a, we have a bit of a decline here. So... What I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to go pitch 9 iron, leave a short. Oh my goodness, how did I mess that up? I'm just really not with it today, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. Like some of these, some of these days, I'm just gonna really just have to sit down and look and be like, "Hey, listen, Egypt. Uh, what are you doing? First thing first, what are you doing? Second thing, second of all, like, just you know, if you if you're if you think you're gonna have a bad day, just take a week off. That was far too powerful. Really thought there was going to be more of a life penalty coming out of that coming out of that rough there. Overhit that. And you straight away overhit that. And I'm definitely not happy with that at all. Definitely not happy with that at all. Before we continue before we continue I do have one thing I would like to address and I really should have lined this up earlier. Really should have lined this up better earlier. But I, I got this comment the other day saying you can't hit a perfect shot to save your fucking life. Clearly you can't didn't avoid the water hazards too. You're playing golf, not swimming. Listen first of all I'm in CCK. Did you really expect good quality golf? Uh, if you want to play, if you want to watch like really good golf, there's Apex Hound out there. There's Mayor. There's Respawn. There's plenty of other people you can you can watch. It's clearly labeled as CCK, so I don't know why what you're expecting. But top tier golf, it's not it. You know? Like, I don't want to, like, keep addressing negative comments like that, but, like... That one... That one kind of rankled me a little bit. Not only because it was, like, the, it's, the, it's the first time I got a negative comment like that. Which to say is, like, I'm not making... I'm not, like, preempting excuses or anything. But, uh... 
you know, like, like, you don't watch a CCK golfer and expect him to play like Tiger fucking Woods, like, come on. That's just unreasonable. It's asking far too much. Almost like asking me to actually get a birdie on this putt here, 52 feet, look at the lie here. I think I've underhit that. I've definitely under-aimed it. But, I guess it's close enough to the point of saying, of uh, just tapping it in here for par. That's not so bad. But yeah, that comment just really got to me the other day, and I felt, I felt like, I felt like I needed to address it. There's like, the vast majority of people in the comments have been really, really positive. They like coming in, they like watching me play. Words of encouragement and the advice is more than welcome, it's supported. It's encouraged. And thank you all for stopping in. There's plenty of other people in, up in the higher rank tours that, all, that stop in and leave comments. They are enjoying watching my progress. and. Which, in which case I can say, you know, good for them. I go to the scoreboard and look for them, see where they are. That was a horrible shot. Which happens more often than not. But again, it, it begs the question, like... Like, you're... You're watching a CCK golfer, you're not... Expecting me to hit, like, I don't know where this expectation for me to constantly hit perfects every shot is. Like, just because, just because I'm a golf less player on YouTube doesn't mean I have to be good at it. I just have to find a way to make it entertaining, that's all. I'm sure exactly golf isn't the, mo isn't the most exciting game to, you know, try to try to make entertaining. Well, that's a great drive. Well rolled down that bank. That's a good drive. I'm happy with that. I want to try and land it up in this upper shelf. And someone else asked as well, it's like, why don't I use like draw or fade shots very often? The simple answer to that is because I'm not super used to them and don't trust myself with, with them to in order to like not mess up my shots. That actually worked out really well. I've not been practicing them by the way. That just happened, that just happened to work out. I think I've overhit that. Overhit, over aimed, and like completely messed up the swing plane there. But that's okay, I left myself close enough for a two tap, we're still getting pars. We're still at even. It's okay. We can move on from this, we can advance from this. This is going to be tricky. It's 232 yards. This is going to be tricky to get on the green here. It's a slight fast. It's into wind as well. Which is why I didn't, you know, club down. I thought, you know, if the wind is okay, maybe we might be able to, like, pull something off here and get it relatively close. And get a green in regulation here. It's a little bit of a downhill putt. So, let's, uh... Curtail on the power a little bit. I'm gonna leave the flag in for this one. That should go in. Let's go! We're back under par again, folks. We're back under par. You love to see it. Back to back par threes. Interesting course decision. 
interesting course decision. Not back to back greens in regulation though. Or is it? Oh, it's just gonna it's just gonna stay on the green. Color me shocked. There's a little bit of downhill, there's a lot of roll here. Twenty one feet for birdie. That looks good. Ah, it's just a hair wide. Just a hair wide. I'm still pleased with that putt though. I got really close. I can still be happy. I can still be happy about that. There's plenty. There's plenty of. There's plenty of times. Not of only. Of, not just a few weeks ago, where I would have absolutely overhit that and just cratered it. This is going to land very high up in the rough here. And it bounced back down, rolled to the fairway. No, it won't. It's still going to stay in the heavy rough. An altitude decrease. And there's a bold strategy coming out of here with three wood. But I think with the altitude decrease, I think we're going to get... Maybe not the whole way onto the green, but close. Gonna miss those bunkers. Gonna get a nice little roll down this bit of a fairway stretch. And you know, that wasn't half bad. In terms of like, a recovery shot, yeah. I guess it wasn't half bad. I'm trying to flop this one up here. Only a slight flash in that flop shot. Oh, that's a nice landing. That's a nice landing. And that's a nice birdie. Let's go! That's a step in the right direction. We are two under. That is pretty dang good. Now, I don't know why this offered a three hybrid here, because I'm fairly sure, like, if I can... If I can hit this one decent with the driver, I can actually just send it the whole way to the green here. I mean, I guess if it didn't fast, it would have went the whole way to the green, but we got close. So, like, we're, like, splashing distance away here. Good approach. Eight feet for birdie. Some slipped off the analog stick there. Let's go. That's another one. That's back to backs. Two back to backs this round. Unfortunately, also two back to back bogeys. But you know what can you do? You win some, you lose many. That's. It's kind of the way how golf goes. No, I'm gonna try and. I'm going to try and fade this one in. I can never remember which one's draw and which one's fade. By the way, I figured out if I put a little bit of... If I put a little bit of curve on it, I can, you know, limit it from landing in the water. Which... Mission accomplished, really. I don't know what I'm doing with that swing plane today. My swing plane is just all over the place. It's really all over the place. Ah! It's at the post! Oh my goodness. That was almost the splash of a lifetime. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish that would have just went in off the post. That would be such an unbelievable recovery shot. <laughs> that would be so good.
Would have been so good. Oh my goodness. I got really carried away there. And that's really, really bad. Please watch your head. Okay, I missed the spectator. That's good. Um, sitting in like extremely dense rough. That's really bad. <laughs> All right, we can battle back. We can battle back from this. At least we're lying relatively flat. Try and pitch this one out of here. Okay. This is immediately a disaster hole. I'm trying to battle back and trying to trying to rescue power here. Yeah, this this one's this one's got bogey written all over it. There's a little there's a little bit of lie here. That uh, might. Oh, it's, it's just about going to go in. I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to drift wide there for a second, but that's that's an okay recovery. I'm not. I'm not proud. I'm not happy with those uh, with those first two shots. But you know, we battled back. We managed to avoid regressing. We did not manage to avoid those bunkers. Oh, look, we got the heavy rough instead of the sand. It's, uh, it's unfortunate, but what what can you do? Risky, but I'm going to take the three iron out of here. I thought the distance might carry me a little bit past the bunkers. But uh, I, I guess I'm wrong. Uh, let's try to flop up out of here with a lob wedge. Should have clubbed up for that. And final hole of the day. 22 feet for par. A little bit of roll. In the shade, we're going close. Not quite close enough to get it in. Drop it in for a bogey and we'll move on from the first round with a, could have been better, could have been much worse, a respectable three under. Does put us in a good position to where we can build upon that. We can we certainly have uh, some room for improvement. And hopefully the second round will go much better now that we have a little bit of a feel for the course. And hopefully we've got the bad shots out of our system. So uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for round two.